In order to find the probability, you could always set up a fraction and just count all the things that you're interested in, put that number up top, divided by the total number of things will be in the bottom. Now for this one, if you pick an egg randomly, what is the probability that it's hard boiled? Well, they tell us only three eggs in this carton are hard boiled. Those are the three that we're interested in, so we'll put that up top. But the carton has 12 eggs total, so that's gonna be the bottom number. And then finally, we're gonna simplify this, but you could use the calculator they give you. And there's a nice fraction button right here. Just do three down 12, and then enter, and it's gonna simplify. So same thing as one fourth, and that's the probability that it's hard boiled here. In other words, if you grabbed four eggs randomly from that carton, the chance is one of those is going to be hard boiled. Okay, let's keep going. This time, if you pick one card at random, what is the probability that it's either a queen or a king? But it's a probability we'll put our fraction. And this time, the deck of cards, it has 52 in it. So that is the total or the bottom number. And we're interested in getting a queen or a king, but there's four of each type of card. In other words, four queens and four kings. And we're interested in any of these cards. So adding those together, there's really eight that we're interested in. So finally, we're gonna be able to convert it to a percent. Once again, just plug this into the calculator. We'll go ahead and use the fraction. So eight over 52, enter. But this time, use the button right above enter. That'll convert it to a percent. And slide that decimal two places to the right. So same thing as 15.3%. So 15%, and that's the probability of getting a queen or a king from this random deck of cards here. To find multiple probabilities happening, let's go ahead and look at an example. The chance it will rain each day this week is 70%. What's the probability it'll rain three days in a row? Well, to find multiple probabilities, just put spots for the three different days here. And then there's a 70% chance of rain for each day. So we'll put 0.70, same thing as 70%. But finally, if you want them all to happen, you're going to use multiplication. And type in this in the calculator, that's going to tell us the probability it rains three days in a row is 34%. Now for this one, a company manufactures electric dog collars. If the probability that one is defective is 1 over 25, then what is the probability that two randomly selected collars are both defective? Well, we know we're choosing two collars, so let's put two spots here. But we want to know if they're defective and each is going to be defective 1 out of 25 times. But finally, if you want both to happen, just use multiplication here. So once again, let's use the calculator. We'll go ahead and do our fraction, 1 over 25. And then right to get out of the fraction, we're going to multiply by another 1 over 25 here. And it's just going to multiply the tops together 1, the bottoms together 625. So 1 over 625, that is the probability, and that's the final answer for this one. So it's not very likely that one of them is defected, so it's very unlikely that both will be defective there. Okay, and just one last example. There's an 80% chance that it will snow each day this week. To the nearest whole percent, what is the probability that it will snow all seven days this week? Well, feel free to pause if you want to try this one on your own here. But you know what to do. We've got seven days, so we'll put seven spots. Each day, it's going to snow 80% of the time, so we'll put 0.80. Same thing as 80%. But finally, if you want these to happen all in a row, just use multiplication. But this is a pain to type in the calculator, so another way to do it is 0.80 to the 7th power. Same thing as 0.80 multiplied seven times here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 0 0.80. Then we're gonna use this up arrow to the power of seven. And boom. 
So final answer, we're going to move this decimal two places over, turn it into a percent. So 20.97%. But finally, we're rounding it to the nearest whole percent. Imagine it's money. If it's 20.97, we're rounding it to the nearest dollar. We're going to round it up to $21. In other words, 21%. And that's the probability it'll snow all seven days this week here. Check out my website for some probability practice just like these ones. And here's a video on ratios. They're another type of problem you could do using the fraction button here. Let me know what questions you have, what else you want me to cover. Good luck, you got these. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles.